darts, arras. The people's game as much a British tradition as Call My Bluff, Codden Chips, David Cameron or Police Camera Action. But what made it the monolith it's become? What's given it its extraordinary cultural resonance? In short, what's made darts, darts? Who better to answer this question than the players themselves, the heirs to the throne of arrows? Do you think King Arthur mm. could throw a dart? I thought John Lowe started, I have to be honest. Who invented the original game? Keith Della, Eric Bristow. It's got yeah. to go back before Keith Della and Eric Bristow, isn't it? No? Do you yeah. reckon that's where it started? I think it started in the 16th century. 1923. But hold on, I oh, don't oh, know if it did. That. Right. Oh, that was okay. just a guess. <laughs> what are we talking? Stone Age? Is it a Fred Flintstone sort of situation, do you think? Probably before then. <laughs> <laughs> Fire, the most primitive impulse, second only to darts. Do you think, though, right at the bottom of it all, it appeals to some sort of urge that we all have, innate urge, just to pick something up and chuck it? Oh, definitely, I believe in that. After the cavemen, then the Romans, a terrifying, occupying army dressed mostly in leather skirts. After 75,000 years of direct rule from Rome, the country was left in uproar. But away from the bloodshed, the Centurions knew a thing or two about double tops. I think it originally started with uh, uh, Romans, I believe. CLXXX, get in. Feudal Britain. This is a world very unfamiliar to us now, unless you happen to live in certain areas of Dumbarton. A world where man is measured by his ability to fight and where no warrior is more prized than the archer. To keep his eye in, the archer would regularly practice on the Oki. That's right, the Oki. Why do we call an Oki an Oki? Because I have a clue. I don't have a clue. Go on, what was your theory then? I can't remember. <laughs> it's just a bit of wood on the floor <laughs> that you jump over. Difficult word to spell though, isn't it? O-C-H-E. It's O-C-H-E. How else would you spell it? O-K-Y. Okay, <laughs> Some historians have laughably claimed that the game was developed by the Hollanders. Hunters, back in years, in the 1700s or something, uh, in, in winter's time, uh, normal, um, the, with a crossbow, and, uh, and, and now uh, they make darts, and they were practicing on, on, uh, on wood. Other academics have gone further with their outlandish claims. I would say, personally, that a lot of games seem to have um, come from France. I shouldn't think they're French would invent anything, really. I'm not going to say nothing about that. You can't get me started on things like that, then. And so we come to the reign of the Tudors and to Henry VIII, a man with a penchant for dance, darts and the dark arts. Anne Boleyn knew his passion was for the arrows and gave him a very special gift. Oh. She was beheaded, wasn't she? Probably, by a dart. You can see him in a little player, can you, Henry VIII? Yeah? No. No? No. When I thought he was a dark player, I just Why thought... Um, he looks the dark, doesn't he? Not really. Far too unfit. And now suddenly it's the 18th century and darts begins to get ideas above its station. The game for the riffraff suddenly becomes the game for men in rayfish ruffs. I like my theory. It started by a nobleman. Yeah. That they were killed in a couple of hours. They played billiards. Yes. They had a couple of owls. Yeah. And, uh, owls? Oh, owls. 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 As in A L E S. Yeah. And a couple of beers. Oh, ales. 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 <laughs> you got me out here, then. Owls. And a couple of owls. Snowy yes. owls. <laughs> Tawny. Yeah, a couple barn. of tawny, a couple of snowy. <laughs> and yeah. uh, that's, what I, uh, that's what I think they've done. <laughs> Owl hunting for posh people. <laughs> the modern dark black. Exactly. Doesn't understand. Doesn't know he's born, does he, really? He doesn't. No. Not nowadays. No, not now. It's all changed. All making a fortune. Bring back the 15th century. Yeah, bring it back. Yeah, you'd have won a bag of potatoes, if you were lucky, a turnip and a dead cat. And you'd have been flogged. Quite rightly so. Yeah. From the caveman to the crafty cockney. It's a rich tapestry, woven mostly in polyester, of blood, sweat and tungsten tips. A rolling stone which over the years has gathered a little moss. We know plenty of its past, but what do we really know of its future?